the speakers, they firsthand, like they directly experienced what happened. And then what Shout learned from that experience was how people can come together to like help heal a community anytime there's any wounds or scars or any hateful actions. This Friday will mark five years since the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting and today the Malinger family met with students in South Fayette. Rose Malinger's granddaughter called the conversation both therapeutic and inspiring. Megan Schiller was there and joins us live now with more. Megan. Here at South Fayette today, it was all about conversation and healing. And when it comes to eradicating hate, young people aren't hesitating to take action. And how did you kind of cope with that? The conversations in this room might make you think, what was I doing at this age? These high schoolers can talk about the tough things, but create a safe space. I do believe that the young people are obviously going to be the future. So what we do now really matters and we can make an impact. Because when you're young, that's when you get the most opportunities for these sorts of like social conversations and ways to impact change. Because in high school, you can start clubs that can spread to other schools that can spread into organizations. A quick look around this circle and you'll see students of all different backgrounds here with one goal, to listen and learn from the family of Rose Malinger, one of the 11 people killed in the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting five years ago Friday. My grandmother was so strong in who she was, so embodying that and talking to other people, it just is so encouraging to know that she's looking down on us and giving us all of these strength to continue doing this. The students form a group called SHOUT that stands for Social Handprints Overcoming Unjust Treatment. One student tells me seeing Andrea Wedner in the room, Rose's daughter who survived the shooting, felt surreal. It kind of like made the entire issue like real to me and how like this could have easily been a masjid. This could have easily been a church. This could have easily been my masjid. This could have been my mosque. Like th th these things could have happened to me. And these students tell me that they also had the opportunity, which they really appreciated, to go to the Eradicate Hate Global Summit, where they said they learned that their age is a benefit, that being young has value in the sense that you have the time in order to make a difference and to be comfortable in an inclusive space, sitting in a room with people who maybe don't have the same beliefs as you and definitely don't look as look the same as you. Reporting live tonight at South Fayette, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.